ESP community channel. Today we are going to be looking at another OSINT tool. Now this tool uh, is called the Photon and you can get it from here if you don't have it installed. Um, and it's uh, basically it's a crawler, right? It's a website crawler. So what it does is it can extract URLs, URLs with parameters like this, email, social media accounts, files, PDFs, secret keys, all of the API keys, hashes, JavaScript files, and endpoints present, and much more, right? You can actually give it strings and custom strings that, and it can get the, the and it can match the patterns and get you the information, right? So, without further ado, uh, let's jump right into the tool. So I do have my OSINT VM running over here, the T0 Linux. Now, in this version of the Linux, it comes pre-installed. All I have to do is just type in photon.py, the H, and there you go. These are all the flags that we have. <clears throat> And we're just going to start off with a very basic one. Uh, just going to give it dash u and we'll just provide it with a URL and see how it performs. So, photon dash u. Uh, let's see, Dropbox again. Let's do Dropbox. Why not? Dropbox.com. Uh, forgot to pa put the dot pi in front and now the scan has started so here we're done with the scan and the scan takes uh, time depending upon your uh, internet connection um, so after the scan you'll see that we have a folder by the name of dropbox.com so you go into the folder and now you'll have these different text files that would have different information so if I go ahead and cat endpoints.txt so these would give some URLs related to endpoints as you can see uh, let's do cat um, external right so these are all the different uh, URLs that are related to the external and let's see what else do we have uh, fuzzable okay fuzzable you can see these are all the different URLs that are fuzzable and what else get internal so we have a lot of uh, internal actually so how much is that how many is let's see dash l internal 97 lines hmm. interesting what else uh, robots.txt so we we'll probably have some entries related to robot.txt okay these are all the entries really and then the last one is scripts probably javascripts that it could find javascript files and whatnot well, let's open one of these links and see where it takes us So that one gave us a uh, 400. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. See if it works. No, that is a 400 as well. So this was a pretty basic, uh, pretty basic uh, scan. Now we're gonna look at other flags and see what other functionalities does this tool have 
So one of the most uh, important legs of the photon tool is the DNS. So we're just going to put in a DNS flag right here. And now what this does is gives you a DNS map of everything connected to the domain. So let's go ahead and try this out. So guys, our scan is done as you can probably see. Now we'll go ahead and uh, <clears throat> have a look at the uh, the image that it has saved and there's the image. So these are all the different DNS entries that are related to this domain and it's a relatively small map. Uh, if you have a domain that that is bigger and larger, you'll have like a huge map over here. So you'll have to zoom in to see to have a better look. So this is, uh, I think it's creating this from the DNS dumpster. So you can probably go ahead and use that on its own as well, right? So that was one of the one of the flags one of the important flags in Photon. Now we'll have a look at another flag. So guys, another important flag is to search for the API keys and email addresses using Photon. So for that, you will just specify the keys flag. Now along with the dash L, the dash L tells it that we're going to be going to four level of the URL, and then we're going to be using 20 threads to scan for this right so let's go ahead and see if we can find any api keys or email addresses so guys we're done with the scan as you can probably see so i did level three because it was taking way too long if i did level four <clears throat> so we're just now gonna go ahead and look into the www.dropbox.com directory and see what we have so probably going to have emails and the intel not the internal intel and there you go so api related stuff over here linked apps um api.dropbox api api so i guess we didn't find any uh api keys laying around but well we it did it did uh hey we do have an email over here as well <clears throat> so and another email over here no that's not an email actually I think that's a gif it kind of miss it that's a fall, false positive probably so did we didn't find any api keys but there you go this is how <clears throat> you do a scan with photon and uh, this is what the photon basically does it gathers information related to a domain right so that would be all for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, do comment them down below.